Cool. So, believe I'm live. Let's uh, let's get this party started. Alrighty. So, hey guys, uh, Jose here from uh, Two Guys One Video Game. Um, the other guy is not here, obviously, because of time. Um, but yeah. So today. We will be getting into um, the Shenmue universe. Um, some of you may already know what it is, some not. Um, I'll throw a little bit of history there for you so you guys can kind of have an idea what's going on. Um, but Shenmue is um, its a classic. It's a historic game that came out right, right, right around the end of the 90s. Um, it was produced um, and licensed by Sega. Uh, fantastic game series. Um, essentially, it's the story of a um, a young man, Ryo Hazuki, who um, finds um, this bad guy, uh, Landy, comes in and ruins his life. So essentially, he decides to go on a quest to get revenge and um, seek justice for what happens. Um, and it's a it's a very very um, in-depth story. Um, I believe it was supposed to be about 11 games in total that were supposed to be created out of it. Um, and then I, I guess recently they've sort of decided to kind of condense it into six. Um, well, in an ideal world, I should say. Um, but the the game, yeah, like I said, it came out around the 90s, or the late 90s, um, based, as you can see on screen, um, in 1986 time frame. Um, so, it's funny, there's a few Easter eggs you'll find where some of the um, things that you'll see in-game are from uh, things that actually didn't happen until way later, so, which would, you know, physically be impossible to be in the game, but they just did it as an Easter egg, so. Um, but you'll see that hopefully in the movie here. Um, so Shenmue 1, like I said, came on that time frame. It was probably one of Sega's biggest uh, projects. I believe it took an insane amount of money to do. It was one of the first open world concept games where you can really just do anything you kind of want to do. It's on a linear path. You can kind of go your own way and do everything you had to do. It was sort of a breakthrough video game. Um, and I guess Sega was just, you know, really proud because it was going to be an innovator in that department, I guess. And it kind of opened the doors to a lot of other video games we play nowadays um, that are more open world. Um, so it's fantastic. Um, essentially what happens is um, it's a huge budget game. Um, one and two that comes out uh, a little bit shortly after that, I believe early 2000 time frame. Um, and then um, it was such a big game but it also costs a lot of money and so that sort of puts Sega in a really bad position because as good as the game was uh, the amount of sales that it needed to do and just the amount of money that was put into it you know subtracting the, minor, the amount of money that was you know taken back from it just wasn't enough to to save Sega so as you know Sega sort of has disappeared from the map um, in terms of that. I guess they're still technically up, but as you can tell, you'll maybe see a Sonic game here and there um, for the most part, nothing like it used to be back in the day where you know it was a solid contender. Um, it came out for the Dreamcast originally, then they kind of went up and um, put it for the Xbox, and um, that's where you can kind of go through that um, process to play those games. Um, but essentially, um, once those games came out, uh, huge fan base, huge fan base came out from it, and we've been trying to support this game series for quite some time now. Um, and so, now, since that time frame, because it was such a budget killer, and it really, really sunk Sega, um, there just has been zero talk of the game. Um, Yu Suzuki, the director or the producer of the game, just hasn't been able to, you know, get the license for the series. Um, and then the, the huge fan base, as I mentioned, has been supporting the series for quite some time. Um, shout out to Shenmue 500 k on um, Facebook if you guys want to follow them. Um, they're a solid group that are very active in regards to the series. So if you want to go ahead and, you know, tune into them, um, follow them they're a solid group there for you 
Um, but yeah, since then, they have been essentially really pushing for Yu Suzuki to get the license from Sega so that he can create the game himself and continue the story so that Sega doesn't have to worry about budget issues. However, Yu Suzuki not only would have to get the license for it, but also have the money for it. So a lot of us fans sort of, you know, lost hope in the possibility of that happening. But, you know, we still keep pushing for it. You know, there's a bunch of different things going on um, in terms of, like... Um, I think it's like every third Thursday of every month, you know, everyone goes on a tweeting rampage, you know, letting everyone know that let's get this license, let's get the funding, all that stuff. So, because this really is a game that was a really, was a really innovative game for the just gaming in general. It opened the world to open world gaming and things of that nature. So, um, it was it was a huge th deal for a lot of you know video game fans. Um, but let's see, as you know, years go by. And 2015 E3, um, they finally, or PlayStation finally announces that they're going to start a Kickstarter for that. And uh, fan base went crazy. Everyone and their mother was like super high, crying, laughing, jumping. I know I was excited about it myself. It was crazy. Um, and they essentially said, listen, a lot of you people have been asking for this game for a very, very long time, so we'll make a deal with you. We're, we're opening the Kickstarter in just a few minutes. The goal is $2 million. I believe they said it was about three months worth. If you guys can fund this in that time frame, we'll go ahead and we'll match it. Yu Suzuki has, is going to be the one directing it, you know, or producing the game. We'll give him all the staff support that we need. We'll give him, we'll match the funding you guys do. The goal is two million dollars. Let's see what we got. And then you know they did the countdown. And then listen, in within twelve hours we reached that two million dollar funding that was needed, which was historic. I believe it was the first time that's ever happened. It was record breaking. So it was fantastic. And then by the end of the three month time frame, I believe it was. We had reached just we had reached above six million dollars, so it was huge. And then on top of that, as we said, Sony was matching them, so it was a huge contribution put, uh, put towards this game. And the fans have been ecstatic. You know, they it was it was a self affirmation that you know you could really push for anything that you really care for and want. And if you just you know keep trying, it'll happen. So it was huge for us as the fan base. Um, so we're all really really excited for it. Um, we've been patiently waiting. You know. Um, anything we could do spreading the word um letting everyone know and honestly the game itself has been such a hype deal that i if you haven't heard from it then you must live under a rock or something <laughs> not literally but you know what i mean um anyway it's exciting the game finally comes out next month so huge deal the game is golden or, or it's, it's gone gold which means that everything that you can do with it's done it's being packaged it's getting ready to ship out um hopefully if you haven't uh, corrected your uh if you did back it up and you moved since you've backed it up you might want to go onto the website and see if you can uh update your address so that it actually gets shipped to you and you don't miss out on it so if you haven't done that already please do um but essentially it comes out on the 16th i believe it was of november um, that being said, us fans are trying to make sure we get hype and ready for the game. So, um, I actually just finished playing Shenmue 1 with my buddy, the other one from this channel. Um, we just played it um, prior to us starting to stream again. Um, and we were, you know, really, really excited about that. And it was fun. Just, it was like a nostalgic feeling, to be honest, because it is a little bit of an older game. But just to be able to kind of go through that story was really exciting. Um, but... We are deciding that starting this streaming again, we haven't done it in quite some time. We're looking to get back into it. Starting it, we're going to go ahead and start it with the Shenmue series. Um, since we just finished the actual game, luckily um, the you know gaming company has created a movie version of the actual first game. So that's what I have here for you guys today. We're going to go ahead and actually watch um, the movie version of this. I, <laughs> I've tried about everything so that I can make it so that I can actually stream it on my Xbox and it wouldn't work there. Stream it on my PlayStation 4. It wouldn't work there because it's HDCP thing that I need, but I can't do that while I'm streaming at the same time. I don't understand. Maybe I just haven't figured it out yet, but I've tried everything. I couldn't figure it out. And then I was just like, wait a minute, I'll just YouTube it or something. And then I found it on YouTube and I was like, hey, look at that. There we go. <laughs> so if you just want to go ahead and do that, you can. It's on YouTube. Just type. It's probably the first option. You'll pop up. So you'll have it there. Um, but I just wanted to kind of do it now because since I'm sort of, I'm, um, since we're now 
you know, trying to build up the Hype 4 3 that comes out um, very shortly. I just wanted to be able to give you guys a little bit of history um, of the game and why it's so important to the fan base that it's finally coming out because it's a really big accomplishment. So uh, we're here to support that now. Um, I'll go ahead and get that started here in just a second. Once this is done on Sunday, I believe, around 8 o'clock, um, Kelly and I will be going ahead and we'll be starting to stream, uh, I keep thinking of hearts, uh, Shenmue 2. We'll go ahead and do that one. Um, graphics a little bit better, but story definitely picks up. So that'll be really exciting to go through. Um, it'll be really hyping, honestly, because I'm really excited for three. Um, I'll even try to like throw a little trailer at the end of when we finish uh, Shenmue 2 so that you guys can kind of see what to expect in three and the difference in graphics. So that'll be really exciting to go through and see for you guys. Um, but aside from that, I think we are, I think we're ready. So we'll go ahead and press play. By all means, any questions or anything that comes up, if you guys have any questions or anything in regards to the actual series, let me know. I'll be more than happy to kind of answer that for you, and we'll be able to kind of go from there. So I'll go ahead and get this started now. And don't mind me. Act like I'm invisible or something, or message me or something. We'll be able to go through that. It is about an hour and a half. So you think you're pretty tough, eh? This little brat just hit my pal in the face with that toy! So we're gonna teach him a lesson. Can't you just leave him alone? He's just a kid! Hey, you're kinda cute, babe. Wouldn't you like to party with us? Get away from me! Don't fight it, babe. We'll be gentle. Don't you dare lay a finger on me! This'll be fun! Nozomi! Rio! What? Are you looking for a fight? Any time. Were you? Come on, loser! Time! Come on! Uh -huh. Both of you, stay away from her, understood? Yeah! Okay! Uh. Thank you, Ryo. Thanks, Dio. Nozomi, you've got to be more careful. They were going to hurt him. I know, but you can't reason with those guys. But... Just do it for me, okay? Okay. Son, I'm all right, but Hazuki Sensei, uh... my father.
Fuchsa! 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 Stay back. Real. For the last time, where is the mirror? I've no intention of telling you. Never tell. No, don't hand over the mirror. Son. Wait! The, the mirror! It's it's buried under the cherry tree. Do you remember Chao Sun Ming? Chao? That's the name of the man you killed in Moon Swoon. It can't be you! Get up. I'll allow you to die like a warrior. Yeah! Oh, father! Lend me some. We have it. No. Father! No!
Ryo-san, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you all right? <clears throat> yes, but I must keep busy. Otherwise, I'll get depressed. I understand. But you needn't work too hard. Is everything okay, Ryo-san? Yeah. Hey, I want to ask you about that man. That man? That man named Landy. What did he talk about with my father? Landy demanded the mirror from him. And then I was thrown out of the dojo. And those men in the black suits? Did you catch their names? Well, I never heard any names. I see. Thanks, Fuxan. If you remember anything at all, please tell me. Ryo-san? Ryo-san! Where are you going? You're not going after them. Please, don't. Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei. They killed my father, right in front of me. I will have my revenge. Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you any? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. Did you happen to see a black car that day? A black car? Yeah. It wasn't the kind of car usually seen around here. You know, a car like that splashed mud on me when it sped past. Really? Yeah. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor Pretty that much. Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo? Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. Hey, Ryo! Tom, tell me about those men in the black suits. What? <laughs> Nizomi Straight to told the point. me had words with the guys driving the black car. They might have been the ones who murdered my father. Your father? Please try to think. All right, man. I'll try. Those guys in the black car, what were they like? All right, man. I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green, maybe velvet or silk, like something Chinese. That's Landy. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki-san? Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah. I understand you've gone through a lot. I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Well, I'm a second generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. Um, Does it actually matter? Son? Yes, I am. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel. You got that from his name? Even the Chinese mafia. <laughs> what? Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity. They're bound to know more. You know all of this. <laughs> Should work for the FBI, bro. <laughs> oh, hey, Rio. I can't serve you alcohol, but uh, have a seat. Thanks. So, what's up? Saijo-san, do you know any places where sailors like to hang out around here? You say sailors. But you don't mean just any sailor, do you? Right. Try the MJQ Jazz Bar or Heartbeats Bar. Is that where they go? 
But you best be careful. I hear they run with a dangerous crowd. How does everyone know all of this information? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah? What? Those men over there, are they sailors? Who knows? Why don't you ask them yourself? But don't start anything. Got it? Okay. Got a minute? Hey, the kid's saying something. Are you guys sailors? Mm, could be. Hey, kid. How about a game? Game? You sink the ball in one shot, you win. And I'll answer your questions. But you miss, I win. Buy me a bourbon. Okay? You're on. Just have to make the shot, right? Unbelievable, man! The deal was, I make the shot and you tell me what I want to know. Are you guys sailors? Nah, we're base workers. Them broke sailors drink at the Heartbeats Bar. Heartbeats Bar. We can tell they were already doing the runaround. Get out of my way. What? Go home! Hey, you! Chew! Those guys sailors? <laughs> Maybe. I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships. What are you, some kind of TV detective or something? Back off. You little punk. You looking for some of this? <laughs> you stupid! <laughs> That's enough. You put on quite a show, boy. I'm looking for info about a Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Look for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? Huh? Hey, it's him! Oh no! <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm out of here! <laughs> Have you come for a tattoo? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. He's over there. He's sleeping. Wouldn't wake him, unless you want to get hurt. Oh no. Ugh, I'm out of here. <laughs> That's funny. Ha! What the? <laughs> the wrong one. What do you want? I want to know about the cartel. I don't know. Hi, Ryo. Nozomi, what are you doing here? Class just got out. You shouldn't be around here. But I was looking for you. Oh? My friend said she saw you down here. But why? Today we had our college orientation. But you weren't there. Yeah. Have you decided where to go? Not yet. But if I go, it'll have karate. It's about time you started studying for the entrance exams. Yeah, I know. I'm worried about you. And with exams... I'll be fine. Ryo... I understand what you're going through with your father and all, but... We can talk about it later. 
Promise? Yeah. It's dangerous here. You should go home. See you later. Cold blooded. I can't believe my father killed someone. A letter? To my father? This came right after Hazuki sensei passed away. I had a bad feeling about it, so I felt I should keep it hidden until today. This letter's in Chinese. But you can't read it? No, we can't. Oh, but Guangji might be able to. He's good with kanji characters. I see. Can you translate this letter for me? Oh, these kanji are weird. I can't read them. Really? I'm sorry. It's okay. Wait! My Japanese teacher's a kanji expert. Show her it. May I help you? Excuse me, are you Xiaosun? Yes, that's right. And you are? I'm Ryo Hazuki. Ah, uh, Hazuki-san? Oh yes, my grandson. Go and told me. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. The other day you helped him at Sakura Gaoka. Oh, I remember. He was so excited when he told me. He now aspires to grow strong and brave, just like you. It was nothing, really. <laughs> so, what brings you here? Well, I have a letter I'd like you to translate. Okay. Reversed kanji. Reversed? Yes, but they aren't just reversed left to right. They're written in a special style. Could you read it for me? Yes, of course. Beware of those who pursue the mirror. If you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. Ju Yuan Da. Ju Yuan Da. Master Chen? Oh, there's something written on the back, too. Tian Ji Fu, Jiao Tao Long, Ti Ji Mu, Wo Da Yo. What does it mean? Father's Heaven, Nine Dragons, Mother's Earth, Comrades. I'm sorry, it doesn't make sense. I understand. But I think this part may be a phone number. These ancient characters are numbers. A phone number? Yes. 0468615647. 0468615647. Four, 
615647, right? I've got it. Hello? Warehouse number eight. Warehouse number eight? You. Who are you? Isn't this the Chen residence? I have a letter from a man named Zhu Yong Da. Oops. That's warehouse number eight. Just who are you? Don't you know that blackmail is way uncool? Eh, you Hazuki from Suka High. Yeah. So what? Huh, Hazuki. I ain't afraid of him. I can take this geek. I have a question. Sure, what is it? Warehouse number eight, where is it? Yeah, yeah. Security guards, I can't let them catch me. Yes, this is warehouse number eight. Wait, Luisano. What? Master Chen. Master Chen? You are the young man who has called? Yes. Real Hazuki. This says, if you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. May I look at the letter? Sure. Yes, this is Zhu's handwriting. But it appears this letter arrived too late. Yes. This Zhu Yongda, how does he know my father? Zhu and your father brought back a certain mirror from China. The mirror? The one that man stole? 
It was stolen? Yes. The man who killed my father, Landy. Landy. Do you know him? Well, I know of him. An organization called Chi Yo Men. Its leader goes by that name. I hear he's a master of a deadly martial art. Yes, he used a style I've never seen. I think we mean the same person. What does this mean? Please tell me why my father... You needn't tell this boy anything, father. Father? No, I'm bound by my promise to Ju Ren Da regarding this boy's father. But... but... Was only one mirror stolen? Huh. I'm asking if only one mirror was stolen. Yes, made of stone, a dragon design. If so, then there's one more. I believe the Phoenix Mirror. Phoenix? A mythical bird of Chinese legend that guards human life. That mirror? My house? Perhaps. Find it, and then we'll talk. Hello? Ryo. Nozomi, what's up? I want to talk to you about something. Can we meet? Yeah. At Sakuragaoka Park? I'll be waiting. Yeah. All right. Ryo. Nozomi, what's the matter? Sorry to call you out. It's okay. I had to talk with you alone. But with all the problems you've been having... Is it so important? For me, yes. Do you have time to talk? Yes, but I can't stay long. I know. You see, I... I'd wanted to wait until things settled down before I told you. But I can't wait any longer. I just can't... can't hold it in. I'm sorry. Nozomi. It's about my feelings for you, but... If I don't tell you now, I feel like I'll miss my chance to... Has something happened? Last night, my mom called from Canada. My father is insisting that I return. So you're leaving soon? I don't know when, but... I can't go without letting you know how I feel. I know. Huh? But right now, I... I don't really know how I feel. Cold-blooded. I understand. When you're ready, tell me. I will. I'm sorry I called you up. Nozomi, don't forget to say goodbye. <laughs> See you. Cool blood. I, I'm sorry for making you worry so much. I don't know if this will help or not, but there was one thing I recall. It wasn't that long ago when Azuki sensei went to an antique shop to have something stored for him. My father did what? I don't know what it was, but he said it was very important. Yeah, that was sad. Antique shop. Straight up turned him down. Turned her down. That's a delightful sound, don't you agree? It was made especially for that butterfly woman. You know, Madam Butterfly, don't you? You... 
your Hazuki Sensei's. Oh my, that was a terrible thing. Your father. Ah, I was holding something at Sensei's request. Hmm, just where did I put it? Huh? Oh, yes, it was very important. So I put it here. He'd asked me to polish and look after it for him. For my father? It's given to the Hazuki heirs once they turn 18. I gather this antique has been passed down from generation to generation. Father. Yeah, it opened. Huh? This sword, it has... Has what? That shape. Why is that here? Okay. Okay. Oh. Wow. So it was a switch. I wonder where this leads. These scratches must be from the shells. Listen. Different sounds. This is it. This is the Hazuki family crest. This box. <laughs> um, I wish. I think everyone wishes they had like a secret hideout place like that in their house. It's the Phoenix Mirror. He found it. Thanks for your help the other day. But, can I ask for your help with one more thing? What is it? It's about this mirror. Can you tell me anything about it? Let me see it. This is a very unusual mirror. It's called the Phoenix Mirror. Phoenix. In China, the Phoenix is the legendary bird of fortune. It's a guardian for the Sky Lord. Guardian? The other guardian is the dragon. A dragon? In China, people consider the North Star to be the Lord of the Sky. Look there. That is an old Chinese map in stone, see? It's a map of the Big Dipper from the Han Dynasty. On a moonless night. Should you pray to the stars, your wishes shall be realized. The Big Dipper revolves around the immovable North Star. In China, the North Star is highly respected. 
For ages and ages, people have worshipped it. In China, there are numerous fascinating legends about the stars. I see. Thank you very much. This ain't my cup. <laughs> Yamagashi-san. Oh, Ryo. What are you doing here? I was having a drink with your father. With my father? Indeed. You may not believe it, but I've been training in Kogujutsu for many years. I used to spar with your father. After our workouts, we always drank sake together. That's sad. By the way, have you ever learned this move? Huh? Watch. It does say my cup. <laughs> Yamagashi-san, what move is that? It's an ancient technique that I once taught to Iwao. To my father. Martial arts masters often exchange techniques, just as your father and I did. We were very good friends. It must be fate that you came here. I want to teach you this move. How about it? <laughs> yes, it's made of Phantom River stone. Why did Landy only steal the Dragon Mirror? He probably didn't realize your father had both of them. Two mirrors. A long time ago, Ju Yuan Da once told me, when the dragon and the phoenix meet, the gates of heaven and earth will open, and Chi Yu will resurrect itself on earth. Chi Yu? It's a legendary Chinese monster that will devour this world of ours. It appears Lan Di will try to make use of both mirrors. What will he try? That even I don't know, but you mustn't allow him to get that mirror. Be careful and stay alert. If he finds that mirror, it will be the end of you. Huh? <laughs> Push that button. There's like three there. <laughs> I won't forget this. My precious. <laughs> Thanks. Is it the work of the Mad Angels? Mad Angels? We always have trouble with that gang. Those dirty bastards. That thing was probably connected to the Chi Yo Men. The Chi Yo Men? Yes. The Chi Yo Men and Mad Angels are. Oh, linked. cool. Thanks for the follow, yo. Perhaps Appreciate they it. are the ones who guided Lan Di here. So, if I find the Mad Angels, I'll find Lan Di. Nah. He's likely not here anymore. Then where did he go? Well, maybe he has already gone to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? I have a request. Request? What is it? 
Please help me get to Hong Kong. If so, then what? I'll find Landy, and then... And then, he'll kill you. He's too strong. What did you say? Stop it. I must avenge my father's murder. <laughs> How admirable. But you don't stand a chance. Well, if it was you... Suppose your father was murdered. What would you do? Yep. Please, help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. Let's go, Gui Jan. Master Chen, please wait. You should not waste your life on revenge. It's okay. deep, man. When the cherry blossoms fall, the dragon shall descend on you. Hurry. Dream? Ugh. Apparently, if you don't beat the game before a certain date in April, Landy comes and finds you and kills you, Be which right is crazy. There. Excuse me. Wait a minute. I want to finish this. Um, excuse me. Didn't I just tell you to wait a minute? I want to go to Hong Kong. Your pamphlets are over there. Find one. Decide. 170,000 yen. Any others? Jeez, what a pain in the... I'm looking for a cheap fare. Uh, here it is. This is the cheapest we got. 158,000 yen? Is there anything cheaper? No, that's it. Okay, thanks. That's right up. Sounds about right for American customer service. <laughs> uh, guess Hong Kong's out. Yo, dude! Oh, you. Seem a bit blue, my man? Got a problem? Then I'm your man! Yeah, right. I know everything about this here harbor! Whatever it is, just ask! I want a job here. What should I do? So want to be a sailor, hey? That's cool, man. Personally, it ain't for me. <laughs> I get seasick. <laughs> Enough. Whoa, 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 wait, hold up. I'll help you, man. I just happen to know a number of foremen in charge of cargo. Really? Hey, anything for you, bro? Can you ask? Well, mm. Okay, meet me at noon tomorrow in front of the big blue door of warehouse number one. You, uh, ever drive a forklift? No, sir. Go learn no, today. Well, <laughs> break something, it'll be deducted. I see. Hey, Mark! Come here a sec. Okay, boss. Okay, Mark will take it from here. Right. Mark, show him how to drive the forklift. Okay, boss. Hello, I'm Ryo Hazuki. If only it was hey, that man. easy. I'm Mark. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Driving the forklift? It's easy. You'll get the hang of it real quick. Oh, okay. This portion of the game is where you essentially work for a living and uh, make money so that you could afford a trip to Hong Kong and also learn information. Hey, the, boy. Uh, you working hard, eh? <laughs> what? 
You ain't paid your insurance. That ain't right. Law of the Harbor dictates all rookies gotta pay insurance. You know what I'm saying? What insurance? I said pay up, boy, right now. Awesome. Thanks for the follow, yo. I appreciate it. You guys mad angels? Defiance ain't a good idea. You don't pay up, boy. I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, shit. That escalated. <laughs> no way. You are gonna regret that decision. Let's get him! I wonder if people actually did that at the time. God damn it. Announced right, that they were two. going to attack no. before they did. <laughs> the mad angels. <sighs> that guy is drunk as hell. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Are you crying? No. I'm so embarrassed. Problem with your mom? Yes. She'll stay here, but she says I have to go there. I see. It's her family home. She's worried about Grandma, so she's staying. You don't want to be with your father? It's not that. I just... I don't want to be away from you. I, um... Please, just for a while, stay with me. Christmas is already over. We didn't get to celebrate together. Nozomi. That's a whole snowstorm she out here in a skirt. Stay with me for a while. That's sad though. Folks, huh? We haven't sparred in a while. How about it? Sure. No holding back, okay? All right, let's go. Hey! Ha! When did you learn that move? Ha! That was a good one. Ha! 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 You got no better. Ha! How about this? My love. You ratted us out, didn't you? Are you one of Chin's men? I don't know any Chin. Oh! Oh, really? I don't know. Oh. oh. Hey, quit lying! Yeah! Cut it out! Oh, remember this. Thank you, Dio. Who were they? They were the mad angels. Why are the Mad Angels picking on you? They seem to think I'm working with one of their enemies. Somebody called Chen. But I don't know him. Master Chen and the Mad Angels. Hey, look! It's Schoolboy! You guys. What the hell are you doing here? Children shouldn't play around with forklifts. You might get hurt, you know. Ah. Move it. You hurt us, you're fired. Ha! Ha! 
nice taxi you got here. Take me on home, okay? Get a move on. Whatever. Cut it out! Joke's on you, schoolboy! That's it. You're mine. It's showtime! This one cut over. Those guys are at the back of warehouse number 17. Number 17? Yeah, at the back of the warehouse. You lying? If you don't believe me, go see for yourself. <coughs> You never know when to give up, do you? What do you want? I'm here to teach you a new move. Like that'll be real helpful. <laughs> you couldn't even handle the mad angels, much less take on Landy. First, I'll show you the form. Watch. One step back, shift your weight. While backing up, kick! This is called a swallow dive. Back in the day when Watch things were resolved with fists. You're intent on going to Hong Kong, right? Yeah. Even knowing that you may die? No matter what. So I thought. If I were you, I'd do the same. That's why. Goro, what happened? I was just walking with that sailor guy. He. Hey, good boy! Come on! Bro. So you showed, eh? You guys again. What's your problem? Better be you. <laughs> Just toss him to the side. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Ew. What did you say? <laughs> Best watch your back. Next time it won't be just you. What? We're gonna go after your family and friends. Gonna get them. Jokes on you, they're all dead. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> hmm. It's them. Just run him over, fuck it.
got a question. Hey! Uh, <laughs> hey, wait! the boss it's t -t terry terry please don't tell no one i told you or or they'll kill me please where's terry i i don't know even i don't know where he's at <sighs> nusa you're home oh hi inesan were you just with nozomi san no Something happened to her? Well, Aida-san just phoned. And it seems Nozomi-san hasn't come home. What? Nozomi-san said she was meeting you. Aida-san said she can't reach Nozomi-san. Hello? It's real. <laughs> Terry's waiting. Who is this? Behind warehouse number 17. Don't we all hit the trap? Nozomi. If you don't show, I'll make her cry. <laughs> don't you dare touch her. I'll give you four hours. Or else. Behind warehouse number 17. <laughs> Got the bike out. No, he's serious now. Got that rocker song going too. I would have walked in with the helmet and just bashed him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got a rat, eh? <laughs> you made it, huh, boy? Where's Nozomi? What's your hurry? Have some fun with us. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 How did you block that? That's crazy. I got you now. Enough. Enough. Oh, Terry, let me have some fun. I haven't had enough fun yet. Hey. You play with him. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot, giant ass. Uh, that's okay. I'm cool. Ryo. Nozomi. Are you alright? Yes, I'm sorry. I. It's okay. It's all my fault. Yeah, it's all your fault. So you're Terry. <laughs> you're the top little schoolboy, huh? Here you messed up some of my boys pretty good. If I let you go, schoolboy, it sets a bad example. Don't you look like Hawkeye and Mihawk? Or is it just me? I'm taking Nozomi home. Sure, you can. But... It's gonna cost you. What? My deal is, you gotta beat up Jin's son. Make it so he can't walk. Kuizong? Ah, uh, so you know him, huh? Why him? He's in my way. Your way? As long as Chen's around. We won't be able to gain total control of the Hong Kong route. All right. Ryo, don't! But one more condition. Yeah? You take me to Landy. What do you say? I know you're the one that guided Landy. Look 
He got the same but facial hair and everything. Oldest school boy that meets the eye. You take me to Land D, then it's a deal. Phew. Fine by me, but only after you take out Guiza. Don't forget. Hey, I ain't no street punk. When Terry of Yakuska speaks, he means what he says. I'm taking her home. Fine. Let's go. <laughs> How does he leap like that? Jesus. For saving me. Mm. But I won't let this go. Or know what he's gonna do about her. We'll see. That boy you fought with, what is he to you? A friend from school. And what is a friend? Well, a friend is a friend. That's right. Just as a parent is a parent. A friend is nothing other than a friend. But listen, Bill. Parents often die before their children. Oh. That's the law of nature. Friends will be there for you, even after parents die. So treasure your friends. And friends you can trust are true friends indeed. Understood? Wait here. Is Guizong coming here? He passes through here on his way home from work. Hmm. Here he comes. 
I'm out of here. <laughs> well, I'm out of here. Hazuki, why are you here? Guizan, I want to fight you. What? What are you talking about? Ready? What? Guizan, pretend to lose. Say what? Terry will take me to land D. You trust a punk like Terry? You'd be better off losing. Lose to you? Go down before you get hurt. What? By a kick like that? <laughs> you call that a kick? So you're serious? You aren't? You're on! Bring it on! All right, Hazuki. Well, come on! Good fight, boys. You know, you're not too bad. Uh, nor are you. It's my lucky day. I'll get rid of both of you at one time. Just as I suspected. Hey. Can you move? Uh, let's settle our dispute later. That's low, Terry. I will make you pay. <laughs> you like me that much? Let me invite you to hell. Wait! Trouble your middle name? <laughs> Save your complaints for later. <laughs> Fine. Watch yourself. <laughs> you too. Fight Stand back. <laughs> this one is mine. This who the hell you think you're dealing with? Yeah. I'll take this. Gotta learn to fight fair. Whoop his ass. <laughs> <Jump. laughs> Hey. 
We them boys. Now, where is Lanty? Never give up to you. Tell me! That creepy skinhead, he took him out to the ship. What? Too bad, huh? You want that bad? You better start swimming. Damn! After all that, still didn't get Landy. You're going after him? Well, I just can't give up. But how can I? I'll talk to my father. I'll ask my father to help you out. Really? Contact me later, okay? Guizan. What? Thank you. No. Azuki. That's my line. Your son! Hmm? Here, it's for you. From Ine's son, and it's not much, but from me. Oh, Fuxa. Take care, and come back in one piece. Those who follow the path of a warrior must be ready to die in order to stand by their convictions. Live for one's convictions. Die for one's convictions. That is how I lived my life. Ryo. It is up to you to discover your path and follow it through. Your foolishness knows no bounds, eh? Thank you for arranging my trip to Hong Kong. You're too reckless. It worries me, so... I'm going with you. What do you mean? I cannot allow you to go alone. Besides, we also need to know what Lan Di is doing. That's the gist of it. Yeah. Broskies. Look out! 
Not travel injured. It's my fault. Don't worry. This injury will heal soon. Go on ahead, Quiza. Don't worry about my son. At the moment, I don't know where Ju Yuenda is. Instead, I will introduce you to someone I know can be trusted. Tao Li Shou, one of Hong Kong's elder masters. The address is in here. Uh, uh, Tao Li Shou is a beast. It's a beast. Uh, thank you very much. Nozomi. Oh, Ryo! I scared you? No, just spooked. You know, it's kind of funny. Funny? See, I was just making a wish for you. And you suddenly appeared. A wish for me? You are going to Hong Kong, aren't you? How did you know? I finally made Fukusan tell me. You've been so preoccupied lately. Is that so? I won't stop you. I know you well enough to know I can't. Here, take this amulet. I'm hoping it will keep you safe. At least that's what I've been wishing and willing it to do. Nozomi. I'm so glad I was able to give it to you. I've been so busy lately. Getting ready to return to Canada, I... Oh yeah, you're leaving for Canada soon. Well, I gotta go home. Yeah, well, be careful. Okay. We're both leaving Japan. I wish we had more time. Tito.
There's my bird, the seagull. <laughs> is a power that could either destroy him or realize his will. His courage shall determine his fate. The path he must traverse fraught with adversity I await whilst praying. For this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds with the morning star as its only light. And thus the saga begins. Yes, she's in Shenmue 2. <laughs> Yay! We just saw the whole movie. Oh, this is a clips of Shenmue 2. You don't need to see that. Anyway. <laughs> um, it'll be fun. It was a good movie. I liked it. It was a good recap, I should say, of uh, Shenmue 1. It was fun. Um, yeah. Pretty excited. Hey, it's my boy, right? Anyway. Um, yeah. Good recap for the movie, uh, for Shenmue. Um, it was fun. It was a good, it was a good little recap. Um, yes. So, did this one. We're gonna go ahead and get into Shenmue 2 Sunday, like I said. Around 8 o'clock is when I'm gonna be going ahead and getting that started. Um, it'll be me and Kelvin. He's the other guy who usually streams with me. Um, so that'll be fun to do. Um, we'll be able to actually play that when it's going to be like the actual game, not movie form. Um, so we'll be going through that together. Um, that'll be fun. Um, but anyway, uh, everyone who uh, watched the film with me, I appreciate you guys. It was fun um, going through this together. And everyone that subscribed, I appreciate you guys. That's Hopefully you guys stick around for uh, Shenmue 2 when we do that. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be doing Shenmue 3 as well when that goes ahead and come out. We have like 13 different copies coming to us. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, but um, yeah, it'll be fun. Um, we're going to be going ahead and doing that um, starting Sunday. We usually stream Sunday. I mean, I know the schedule says something else right now, but I just have to change it because um, the new schedule we each have but it'll be Sundays Mondays and Tuesdays eight o'clock um, it was gonna be when we normally stream going forward um, I just wanted to get this one out of the way because I know that um, I kind of just wanted to get this out and then just start streaming Sunday going forward um, to make sure we were able to you know finish it on time and get hyped for three once we finish two we'll play like a trailer or, or something for three to kind of build up the hype for it um I, i'm assuming if you guys watching you guys already have an idea of shenmue um so more than likely already know a little bit about it and everything but if y'all just want to go ahead and have a little party with us getting hyped for for three for whenever it comes out like i said that'll be the time frame we're going to be doing it um we're also going to be streaming um pokemon shield when it does come out which should be well, the 15th, we're going to be splitting the stream times in between the two of those because they both literally come out of date away from each other. So 
Um, I might just do two separate stream times for those. Um, one specifically for Shenmue, one for Pokemon. Um, you guys care for that, you guys can watch that too. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was a good recap. Hopefully you guys, you know, liked the story. Um, I know I did. Um, two, like I said, gets a little bit more action-packed and everything, so it'll be fun. Um, and then we can't wait for three. But again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate you all who tuned in. Um, and until next time, y'all take care now.